is. It's an amazing uh, pan because it folds up. You can put things in it, and it's pretty easily cleaned. I've got uh, French onion soup from Costco. They run about 200 calories, 210 calories, and I'm going to embellish it with vegetables, and I'll probably use a few scallops for a protein. Okay, I've cut up some potatoes and some radishes and some celery, and I've put them in to the pot. And basically, we're doing a play on something called hobo soup. Um, I really like things that came out of the Depression era because people had to kind of make do with what they had. I think people get fixated on the cost of things, but don't sit and think about the value of things. So that could be from the standpoint of the value of the odds and ends that we have around the house or the value of the nutrients that we put into our bodies because the convenient things typically aren't the good things. And expanding on that a little bit, I think we take for granted the value of the things that we have around us. This is one of the first reasons I became a big fan of motorcycles. Uh, it was kind of miserable taking some of the initial trips and there still are some that are pretty bad. Whether you can't control or breakdowns on the bike, but it's a natural way to hone in and appreciate the things we have. I've decided against the scallops because I found these old prawns. We're going to use those instead. Another thing I'm starting to do might cause some people to raise an eyebrow, but when your potato sprouts, if you cut off the piece and put it in, in a container, I've got mine above the fridge, with a little bit of water, I've actually been very successful in growing my own potatoes. first Sunday in a very long time that I haven't had to go anywhere so we're gonna do a little bit with these jars and yeah it has to do with the pantries and things that we do in order to make sure that if we get bombarded with snow outside that we have abilities to store food but beyond that there's some good stuff to consider with regard to the motorcycle so let's get into it. I've done some jarring before and it is something I really enjoy. Amanda and I have a garden out at our hobby farm. And so as we produce produce, uh, typically we don't eat it all at the same time. And it makes sense to have opportunities to put them on the shelf and, and have them store. That way, when we get into the winter time, uh, we can enjoy some of those vegetables later than when we harvested them. Today we're going to talk about something a little bit different, and instead of showing the whole canning process or things that we would typically do for vegetables or to, to make pickles and things like this, we're going to show what we can do in order to extend the life of Chex Mix. Now that's a, that's a holiday tradition around here, doing different types of trail mix and, and Chex Mix to go with the holidays, and so we'll get at that. If you can, if you can imagine, uh, jarring these things in a way that makes them more sustainable also extends itself pretty well to putting it in a saddlebag and taking them on our trips. Whether it's Chex Mix, potato chips, we do this with pasta. Okay, so we're ready with the jars, and this is still drying a little bit. You want them to be dry and not have moisture in them. That would be a bad deal. Sometimes people cook the jars. It's a bigger kind of funnel, and we're going to use this to help get the Chex Mix into the jar. That gives an idea of the funnel in the jar, and we'll start piping in some, some Chex Mix. I'm going to use this cup that I think came from Florida. They've been in my family for a long time. Sanibel, maybe, is where they came from. Anybody else have these? Anyway, I'm going to use it as a scoop. And just... Put it in the jar. 
Okay, I've got it in the jar. I'm gonna shake it around. I am gonna leave a little bit of air gap like we would do if we were canning vegetables. I've got a top. Okay. And I'm gonna attach the sealer and we'll basically be sucking all the air out and it will vacuum seal this. Typically I don't put a ring on it. Uh, yeah, that's, now I'm thinking of Beyonce. Anyway, I typically don't put a ring on it because if the seal breaks, it's easier to see. So not that it matters other than you'll end up with stale check mix. The attachment top just fits right over top of that. And there's an attachment on the food sealer. I'll make sure it's shut down. And we will start to vacuum seal, I think. You have to make sure the lever on the side is down or it won't seal. And it's sucking out the air right now. You can kind of hear the tone changes as it gets closer to getting all the air out. And eventually the lever kind of pops up. More. Nope, I think we're done. We can tell that it's sealed because the little popper is down. And there we go with one jar of our favorite trail mix, Chex Mix, that we can put on the shelf and it can stay there for months and stay fresh. You know, if you're a hunter or something like that, this is good in the backpack too. It doesn't have to be for motorcycles. It's just, I've taken stuff like this before on, on such trips. So this might seem a little bit strange, but I swear I'll tie it in. You see, this helps to make sure that food doesn't go to waste by getting stale or moldy or things of that nature. And as we have produce in our pantry, like on our potatoes, we'll notice sometimes that they begin to sprout. And I'll cut those pieces off and put them in a little Tupperware container on top of my fridge. And as you start to see these sprouts, especially the bigger ones that are green, you can allow them to callus and basically give them a little bit of water. This piece especially, if I bury it, I'll have a potato plant. And it seems to work better on the smaller potatoes, but uh, my daughter and I, in 2019, I think it was, put these in totes full of dirt and ended up, at the end of the season, having about four or five bags of potatoes. So my point to all of this is, if you are someone that's into recycling and you're worried about the environment and things of this nature, we waste so much and uh, just a little bit of knowledge goes a long way and I'm going to plant some of these maybe at the end of the season I'll show you what I get but there's tremendous ramifications to this the ability to be self-sufficient the ability to spend less money on produce the joy of doing this yourself and it's really not that hard and so when 2020 hit I heard a lot of people criticizing uh, people that that had preparations like this and if you've been watching my channel for a while you know that like-minded people to me were the ones that went down to Iowa during the derecho and took them supplies that they needed and uh, I don't think there was ever anything that was asked for reimbursement so you know back in the day it was a good thing to be a boy scout I, I don't understand the uh, the challenges that people make to those who are willing to help. I think we might be coming up on the big one. The, big, the, the winner. The winner? The wiener. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Ooh, that's a pretty nice one. I like, I like the snowman. No, this isn't it. No, this is not it, but this is an impressive house. <laughs> Pretty. Oh boy. Here we go. Is this is is this well that's nice. I like that one. Is this it? Is this the Clark Griswold house? I believe so. Is this the winner? We're gonna keep looking though. Wow. 
I don't think the camera can do that justice. <laughs> Very cool. I like this, the roof lights. Those are neat. That's pretty too. Such a good so this kind of happened. Hobbs! <whistles> Hobbs! <laughs> what you doing? <whistles> oh, goodness <whistles> sakes! Hobbs! <whistles> What'd you say? What did you say? Hobbs! What did you say? What'd you say? You got a party? It's New Year's and there's a lot of changes in the fold. But uh, some things don't change. At this time of season, we have a tendency to do some house cleaning. I've been doing some of that. Put the tree away. Amanda did that with the kids. And uh, <laughs> we're suffering from all the suffering. Well, you know what I mean by all the weight gain <laughs> from the holidays. So now is the time of season where I like to turn on Alone, uh, which is a cool show. And it's also time where I start making different soups in Minnesota. So this is a vegetable beef that I did. And I feel pretty blessed to be able to be in a warm house with warm food when it's so cold outside. Okay, so new motherboard that matches the other one and processor and booted it up and it tested and posted. So we can say definitively that that MSI motherboard has bit the dust. And I guess out of it, we got a, another new machine. So um, this bad boy, I believe will run Linux. Um, I kind of have to take a look at my operating systems. May decide to put a Windows distro on here, but uh, that's as much time as I have over the lunch hour. And I'll talk a little bit and show off the case when I have a little bit more time. Hey, hey, that's pretty. Got her to light up. Well, that's about all the time I have in this episode. You'll see I do indeed have the machine we just built running Linux. Good stuff and it looking pretty sharp. And that's a good reminder. Remember to see the beautiful things that are around you every day. <laughs>